with U.S. adults have experienced or will experience reliance on welfare. The findings come as President Barack Obama tries to renew his administration's emphasis on the economy. Zach, are we learning anything new from this? I think we are. Uh, typically, these studies show that, uh, that you know, a shocking number of children grow up in poverty. I mean, nearly one in four American children grow up in poverty. That's a, that's a very, very high number. But to know that 80% of people will experience it at some point during their lifetime, I think gives you a better, uh, is a more relevant statistic for, for the, the scope of the economic hardship that the United States is going through right now. When you think of the unemployment rate at 10%, I think politicians in Washington, un unfortunately, will say, well, that's, you know, that's only like one in 10 people. So if we do stuff that just panders to the unemployed, you know, we still got to worry about the other 90%. But actually what's going on is that people experience long-term periods of suffering for, at, at some point in their life. Uh, and, and, you know, they, they, they need some help to, to get through that period of time. And for it to be 80%, I mean, we're talking about most of the country being affected by this. And I think that's why economic issues remain such a politically post issue. Even though the recovery really is, it had, it, things, things look a lot better now than they did, you know, five or six years ago. Uh, a lot of people, if they haven't been through something terrible, you know, a, a bad job loss themselves, have, have a family member who has or a close friend who has. And so they feel this as a close, personal, emotional thing. Uh, and, and it's really very widespread. Is there anything Obama can do that it's, that's a political winner on this that actually addresses it, or is this something that most people don't want to think about? Uh, you know, I think, I think there are a lot of things the president can do that's a political winner on this. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he's really wanted to do that. A, a big one would have been student loans. Uh, you know, th there, there was this rate doubling, interest rate doubling that happened on student loans. Student loans are not something that affects everybody, but it sends a signal to the public that you care a lot about this issue. And instead, he backed this compromise, which will result in much higher student loan rates eventually uh, than, than the student loan rates currently were before they doubled. So, uh, you know, I, I, think, I think Obama's desire to cut deals with Congress overrides his desire to actually solve problems in a meaningful way in most cases. And, uh, and you know, if, if he can find a way to cut a deal with somebody to, uh, you know, to, to extend social insurance programs, you know, uh, that, that'd be great. But it, it certainly looks like, you know, on a lot of important issues like food stamps, stuff like that, uh, there, there's no interest from the, uh, the House GOP in, in particular in compromise.